How's it going, everybody? German Master here, and welcome to this uh, K1 Challenge Grand Prix. Well, fun, funny enough and fortunate enough, I'm actually able to use a GoPro now for this race and footage and everything. So I am very grateful for them to be able to have the opportunity to do this. It is very nice. But what's that? What it's basically um, what's happening here is my basic series that we had before, where we're, I was explaining the races on how the races were going. Um, but the difference is, I'm actually going to show the qualifying here, because I can actually, because I can actually give you on boards of like my fastest lap and stuff like that. And uh, I will say this: while I was trying to get the lap times and all that stuff, I completely forgot where the papers were to give you guys a lap by lap of what times I got every single lap. So that'll come for like the next month or next time I do this. So yes, I will. I will get um, lap times going on every lap, every lap or so. Actually, it will be every lap when I do get those shoes. When I try to, when I have a better way of keeping track of them. But anyways, for now, we'll just you'll just have the raw footage without any of the lap results or anything like that. But yeah, there's nothing much to it other than uh, once uh, the fastest qualifying time will determine your position, and once you're in that position, that'll determine your start on the grid, and uh, you race from there, and uh, the winner gets the most amount of points. And yeah, pretty simple. I hope you guys do enjoy this and uh yeah that's enough for me i might commentate uh when there's something major going on but uh other than that it'll be mostly just the footage anyway i'll see you guys next time
Yeah, as I crossed the line here, I didn't realize that uh, this lap that I'm on now was the final lap. I thought we already just did the final lap. Yeah, you'll notice that in the footage that I'm saying, oh, this is the final lap. Anyways, I, I just went ahead and put up my results from that. I remember my exact time from it. It was a uh, 25-612, which beat out um, Steven by like, like less than a tenth or so. I think it's like a hundredth or something like that. But anyways, it was um, it was good that I got into fourth. I, unfortunately, it's not the ideal place to start because you'll be starting on the outside for the first corner. But you can do something with fourth position. You could get a win. You could get on the. You can definitely get on the podium. But anyways, podium. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll go over to the start. And th the start went really well. Actually, we got off really well. Man it managed to get right into the inside, so I couldn't get attacked from uh. Even Davis from behind, and it worked out really well because uh, I could just keep my position. I'm gonna act I actually ended up defending a little bit much, in my opinion, because I was losing quite a bit of time. But hey, I was just making every precaution, make sure I didn't really lose any position or by the other way, because you never know. But yeah, it felt very good. Now that we got uh, off the line here, I'll comment when we get a uh, catch right back up to the podium position. All right, we caught back up pretty quickly actually and now we're in a tight little train here with uh pre and uh pre chris and myself and looks like there we go chris goes on the inside and then i go on the inside falling behind him works out pretty well for me anyway so it looks like me and chris get past uh past david and then now i'm just falling behind chris for the rest of the positions and i'll i'll get you guys back up and then we want to we try to see if we can get anything from chris see if i can get a stance of attack on him Right, so it looks like uh, Chris is moving a little slower than me in a lot of areas. His lines tend to be a little more protective here. I might try to use that to my advantage here to, get, to, make, to use his uh, protectiveness against him here. And the hairpin, he fucked it. He got it pretty well. He's protecting his line well. So what I'm just going to do is uh, make, make sure I'll go with the undercut. Just swoop under him when he's not expecting it. And pull the same move that uh, we both did on Dupree earlier. Yeah, works out pretty well. Now I'm just going to have to worry about defending from Dupree. And uh, it's kind of this is kind of a hard part to uh, comment on because like it's harder to show, but like the, the way the defending really works with these cards because you don't want to do the same line every time when you're defending because it gives the person behind an idea of what you're gonna do every time, so he knows how to you know get, uh, counteract it. But yeah, it's it's a mind game and it's a it's a game of positioning. And yeah, I'll go I'll go ahead and let the rest of the racing uh, do the talking here. Right, that looked like a, I had a fun little battle there for a little while. Now that that's kind of calmed down, now I'm going to see if I can catch up to first place. See if I can have a shot at going for first place. I, I, we've been going for racing for a while, so I don't know if I'll be able to catch him before the end of the race.
All right, it seems like I'm inching closer and closer to him. I I'm getting close, but I don't know if I'll be able to get him right before the end. He's only like a second or not even a second away. Let me see if I can get him. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get him here. I, that last corner back there was probably my only chance. But um, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with second place considering I started back in fourth position. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. That's going to pop up that I, fi that I did finish second. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to smash that like button. Give me a, a subscribe. And uh, also feel free to hit that uh, bell to get notifications as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.